Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we went to the range. I needed to do some retail therapy. I have not been to the range for a long, long time. And I said this in my last range video, like it wasn't really one of my go-to stores that were in the rotation, but it definitely is now because they have some amazing stuff in there. There's definitely some bits that are a bit questionable, but you can get some really, really good finds there. So we popped in, I was looking for just anything to get me in the autumn spirit. I've said before and I'll say it again, like I don't really decorate for autumn or do anything for Halloween, but sometimes stuff takes my fancy, which it did this time. But I wanted to just have a bit of a mooch around, see what they had in. They had a lot of Christmas stuff in. They were starting to really stock and go hard on the Christmas stuff. So if you're looking for autumn decor, um, Christmassy bits, all that lovely stuff, stay tuned. I will show you guys what we saw in store and then I'll jump in and show you what we actually got. Wanna be free of this heart, yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, need you here, more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. Yeah, should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again? Hold you tight, call you mine, think about you every time. I remember that it's over. Yeah, you never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? So afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase, and everything is going just great. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Stop. Yeah, yeah. I always knew that this would happen. Yeah, you would find a new distraction. I need you more, need you here more than I would like to admit. Can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah, you never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah You never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend That I'm okay It's just a phase And everything is going just great I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Stop. Yeah, yeah. Someone's like I can't stop. Yeah, yeah. I can't stop. Calling out your name as you shut the 
This heart, yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, need you here more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow, yeah. Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again hold you tight, call you mine? Think about you every time I remember that it's over Yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah so I got quite a few bits, but we didn't actually spend that much. We spent £37, which I feel like we got a lot for that. So I'm going to take you through the bits we got. Like I said, we don't really decorate for autumn, but apparently this year we're going to do some bits. Um, small bit to start with. Saw this. I actually saw someone share this on Instagram. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, looks really cute. It's pumpkin potpourri. And they actually, let's see if the camera wants to focus, they actually look like little baby pumpkins. Like little, really neutral baby pumpkins. I haven't actually had a chance to smell these because they're wrapped up in a bag. Oh, they actually smell really nice. That actually smells really nice. It smells like a mix of like vanilla and like pumpkin-y spice type vibe. Oh, that smells really, really good. I have like a wooden kind of boat bowl situation, which I think these will look really, really good in. And they smell super cute as well. So I'm pretty chuffed for that. They were really cheap, actually. They had loads of really big bags of potpourri, which look more like your standard kind of potpourri. But I like that these were a little bit more rustic, neutral, um, and a bit more subtle with the autumn decor. So this was £2.99 for the bag. And now I'm kind of wishing that I got more than one bag. Next up, something I'm gonna save for Christmas, 
but they did loads of these candles and these are very much white company dupes. I know that Aldi did some dupes last year and they sold out like instantly. Um, they did two different versions of this. This one is spruce and cedar um, and it has like twigs and leaves and all sorts in there. It's quite a subtle smell but it's kind of what you expect. And then they did another one which had a red bow on it and it was more like berries and dried oranges and stuff in it. We just felt like this would probably go with our vibe a little bit more. Um, that was £5.99. If they do the Aldi ones again, I really want one of those massive ones. They did like big dinner plate size, like shorter ones last year. And I think that'd be really cute, but I'll settle for this, £5.99, much cheaper than whatever white company are charging. We also got some screen wash for the car, which is very uninteresting. And then I got another Christmas thing, which I'm just gonna, I can't think about Christmas until like the last week of November. I don't get excited for Christmas too early. Um, so this is way too early for me. But I said this before and like, I just feel like Christmas stuff, all the really good, affordable, cute decor bits just seem to get sold out so quickly that if you do see something that you like, you kind of just have to grab it. So whenever I get Christmas stuff, I just shut it away and pretend I don't have it and then I forget. And then when I actually come to decorate, I get excited again because I forgot. Um, but I got this. So we actually have a couple of things really similar to this, which are wooden, but I saw this one and I said to Steve, I was like, this is the kind of thing that if you didn't know it was from the range, like I don't think you would think it was cheap but it's like a this really nice kind of dusky green color nice and desaturated um and it kind of has this like speckly ceramic vibe i feel like the camera is just not doing this justice whatsoever but to me this looks really really expensive um so yeah nice little ceramic scandy tree we have loads of wooden ones which we normally kind of like set up as like a bit of a trio or something so i think these will look really cute in a set with some of that warmer wood tones as well and that was five pounds 99 so again really not that expensive at all and i feel like if you got that from somewhere like white company or whatever they would literally charge you like 30 quid even places like h&m they'd probably charge you like 15 quid for that so super duper affordable the sun is like coming in and out constantly and just literally can't make up its mind what it wants to do. Now the last thing I got, I saw these on the shelves and I just loved them. And even Steve was like, that is so cute, which is very unlike Steve. And the woman said that she had literally just put them on the shelf and that she didn't even have time to like label and price them up. So I took them to the till and I was like, how much actually are these? But they have, loads of these boucle pumpkins so i got three <laughs> pumpkins um they are actually door stops um so they're a decent size boucle and they have like a little um jute twine thing here they are 21 centimeters wide by 12 centimeters high we're not going to use them as a doorstep but we'll probably put them on like the half of our fire they actually had four colors in stock. So I got the kind of khaki green, the ivory one, the rust colored one. They also had a really nice gray. It was like a kind of warm mid-tone gray, but the khaki green one instantly, I was like, love that. The rust color, I feel like you just have to for autumn. And then I liked the um, creamy ivory one, just to have a bit more contrast between them. So we'll probably set these up as a little trio. Um, I just think they're super, super cute. And they're not too, I was gonna say tacky and that's not the word, but like they're not too over the top. Um, they also had some really nice like glass pumpkin containers and things like that. But again, like we don't really decorate that much. I didn't wanna go overboard and just hoard all this stuff. But these ones I like, couldn't say no to. So these were 5 99 each. So how much is that? 18 quid for three pumpkins which I, I was honestly like, one of these could probably be 15 quid. Like that's why when I went to the till, I was like, how much actually are they? Cause I'm getting three. So I don't want to be spending like 40, 50 quid on pumpkins. Um, but yeah, 5.99, I actually think that is an insane price. And again, I feel like they don't look like cheap pumpkins from the range. 
So I am pretty happy with all of those different finds. Um, as per usual, I, I got a bit like, I don't know, shopping fatigue whilst I was in there. There was so much stuff. I was really tempted by some of the frames they had. They had these really nice like faux oak frames, but they had like a little bit of detailing to them. They were really nice, crazy cheap, like way cheaper than Ikea or anything like that. The mirrors are always on point in there. They have some incredible mirrors. There was a gigantic like arched one, absolutely huge. It was 120 quid. But for a mirror that size, I like, honestly, it's so, so cheap. Um, and the decor bits are just like, that's mainly what I looked at was just like the cutie little, cutie little decor bits. Um, and the Christmas aisle was like insane. It was down the whole middle of the store. I think last time I went to the one that's kind of like, southwest cardiff this time i went to the one on newport road in cardiff um and it was pretty good like i think once you're in the range they're all kind of like the same size and the same layout and stuff but the whole middle bit of it was christmas stuff and they were still setting it up so if that is your vibe and you are super excited for christmas get down to the range because they had a lot of stuff and i was definitely tempted by a couple of the baubles but i need to do like a little bit of an order of what i actually have because each year i forget what i do and don't have um so i want to actually properly sort through everything and kind of decide which bits i still like and which bits i want to use and not so watch this space we could be buying some more baubles this year we are actually going to be getting a new tree so um if anyone has any recommendations I would really love one of those um, Balsam Hill ones, but they are so expensive, <laughs> so, so expensive. But if anyone has any recommendations of where to get an artificial pre-lit tree, probably about the seven foot height, that actually looks decent quality and real, let me know in the comments because yeah, I'm thinking maybe like Black Friday sales or something, I'll be able to pick up a nice Christmas tree. Steve has promised me one for some time and I said this is the year that we're going to do it. So exciting stuff. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one.